Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for today's Lunch and Learn. I'm Keith Armour, I'm the Education Homework Support Manager down here at the Main Library and the Adult Learning Center. Now, a lot of things are changing. Um, you can come on into the library, please do. But we want to talk today about Discovery Pass. Discovery Pass is a great program that we've had and I've wanted to talk about it for a pretty long time. However, things have changed uh, with um, COVID restrictions coming down and people being more and more vaccinated. So this is a great thing to talk about. It is where you can take yourself and your family to some great places in Hamilton County and really um, discover um, how wonderful we have it here in this area. So I'm going to show you how that works and how you can go to these places for free. And I love the word free. Just have to have a library card, but I'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to talk about Discover, Discover Summer. And Discover Summer, I previewed last Lunch and Learn. And I'm just going to go over it very quickly again um, so you have some great activities for your kids from birth all from preschool all the way up to teens um, some great activities for you and then of course we'll talk about some summer programs as well all right so let's get busy well all right we've arrived at our wonderful website cincinnatilibrary.org we're going to take a real quick dive and discover summer it is our great program that we do we've done it for decades um, trying to get kids involved with learning and reading and it runs from June all the way until July 31st and it is Discover Summer. That is the name of the program. Now you can get your to-go pack and it's all free. You don't even have to have a library card for this one. Um, there are things in the to-go pack. There's an activity book and you can see the activity book is broken down as pre-k elementary, middle school, and teen, all right? And it's got a whole bunch of great activities in cooperation with lots and lots of our wonderful favorite organizations. You've got the Y, you've got the ballet, you've got all sorts, the art museum, you have all sorts of wonderful institutions that we partnered with to, can, to come up with some really fun age-appropriate activities uh, for all of them to do. Um, and once they finish, uh, I think it's five activities they could win, they could possibly win some great prizes. Now, the to go pack also has a book that your child or your teen can keep. Um, there's also going to be some uh, summer take and make activities the, to go with the to go pack. And then, of course, if you're if you have a preschooler, um, there's an early literacy calendar for preschool families as well. Now, what we've done is we you pick all of that stuff up at your branch. However, if you can't make it to their branch, you could download and print it at home. Um, but what I also love that what we did this year was we also put in last year's booklet. So if you had a little one that was uh, not, not able to participate last year, you can have them not only participate this year, but you can also use some of the activities that were put together last year as well. And each one of these booklets have this year's and last year's. Now, you'll only be able to pick up um, at your um, local library this year's booklet, but I think the, the fact that you can download uh, last year's booklet as well is really, really helpful, especially if you're thinking about piling everybody in your car and going on a really extended car trip, or if you're possibly going on a plane or visiting somewhere. Um, these are activities that really will keep your kids actively involved with some great activities from these great organizations that we put through. Um, you can, of course, want them to continue to read, and we've got fiction, nonfiction, science fun, international, and mystery here. But if I go back one more, um, you'll see there's programs and events, and these programs and events, if you click here, you're going to find programs that um, go along with our Discover Summer program. So these are going to be preschool programs. These are going to be elementary, middle school, and teen programs. The learning app is wonderful because it's called Beanstack and it puts it all together for you. So you can have your child 
record books and their activities that they do. The web resources are really cool because they, the, the group that put all these together, librarians that put all these activities together, the web resources are based on those age groups as well. So if you have a teenager and you want to look at some web resources for them, that is going to be there. Um, a middle schooler or an elementary or a preschooler, those activities are gonna be different for each one of those age groups. Don't forget about our summer meal program. If you or um, you know of a family and children that are in need, please make sure that they know that we are continuing to do our meal service program throughout the summer, not just June and not just July, but all the way to the end of August. And it's with our great partner, uh, UMC Food Ministry, that we've been doing that on Mondays from three to five. Uh, while well, supplies last, of course, but each box contains seven dinner meals and seven snacks in there as well. So there's a whole bunch here, uh, branches that you can go to, and then you can find out who's eligible to pick up meal boxes and then about the meal box service itself. Okay, so it's great just that we're continuing to do that service throughout. Now, jumping on to prizes here. For our Discover Summer, you've got some Legos, you got some earphones, some Beats earphones. You've got some art supplies. You can build your own fort, which looks kind of fun. You've got $50 gift cards, and you've got four tickets to the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum. And those, all those, um, you have to have finished five activities from your booklet, okay? And that's from our wonderful sponsors. And I'm just going to show you real quickly all of the different sponsors that have helped provide uh, the funding for the summer booklets and also the activities and the books um, that you're, go you're going to be able to keep. And of course, the prizes as well. So we want to thank them. Now, we're going to go back over here under our library logo over to services. Because today, because I went into a lot of detail about Discover Summer last week, but we're going to go over here under Families to Discovery Pass. Now, Discovery Pass, and I'm going to read it right here. It says, Cincinnati is home to many renowned cultural and recreational institutions. The library wants to inspire you to get out and discover these attractions through our Discovery Pass program. Now, if you have gone to any of these, and I hope that you have, but if you haven't, you're in for a treat. Um, let me just click here to the American Sign Museum that you might not be that familiar with. Um, it is a really fun place to go. Let me show you a little video that they put together on their site. Lots and lots and lots of neon, you know, they tried to span over a hundred years of American Sign Language and I Sign history of 20,000 square feet. It's just so cool. You get to see so much down there. Um, on a hot day, oh, it's a great place to go. You see a lot of great neon down there. Um, you start thinking, you know, if you're as old as me, you're kind of going down memory lane sometimes when you see different signs. You're like, oh, I remember that Howard Johnson sign or that McDonald's sign. Um, and it's really cool. They also have a restoration area where um, you can, as a visitor, see them restoring, if they're doing that at the time, restoring different neon signs. So it's kind of fun to go there. Um, the museum, the Sensei Art Museum, of course, is free all the time. And if you haven't been down to the art museum lately, you should go there as well. That's great on a rainy day, a sunny day, any kind of day. It's a great time at the art museum. But the Discovery Pass would work for a special exhibit. All right. So check that out if we have them for that. We don't have them currently for any special exhibits. The Museum Center. Great building, wonderful museums, 
the great parks of Hamilton County. If you have not gone to one of those parks in a while, you know that you need to have a parking uh, an, a vehicle permit. And um, I'm going to show you that in just a moment. The Harriet Beecher Stowe House is a really fun place to go and learn about um, different parts of history. And then the Pyramid Hill Sculpture Park and Museum, that's up in Hamilton. And I've never gone there, so I'm kind of looking forward to going to that. Now, speaking of the great parks of Hamilton County, this past Tuesday was uh, one of their first free days. Now, all the other times you have to have a motor vehicle permit and you have to pay for that, but they have put together, and I'm gonna put this in the links, but these are all the different days that you can actually go to any of the great parks of Hamilton, Hamilton County, and you can go in free. You don't have to have a motor, motor vehicle permit. But these are all the different dates. And this Saturday is National Trails Day, so you can get in there for free for that day as well. But I'll provide a link for that. But with the Discovery Pass, you can get in there anytime. Okay, you just have to reserve it. Um, so let's go down here. Now, one thing that you'll need to do is have a library card in good standing. And I've shown you before, if you go under services and click right here to get a library card, you can get a library card. You can also call our number 513-369-6900 and get a library card that way as well. But your library card has to be in good standing. You have to have less than $50 in fines. And you really shouldn't have fines, but we won't go into that right now. Um, but what we've done is put together a little handy dandy chart for you. You've got all the details up here. You've got the name of the museum or institution, and you've got how many people does the pass admit. So you got four here for the art museum, two and four, two adults and four children for the museum center, uh, two for the Harriet Beecher Stowe House, uh, Pyramid Hill, youth and ages only. There's no limit here. There's no limit on how many people you can bring. Um, only you can one vehicle. So you can pile everybody into a vehicle. Uh, so as long as you could use one vehicle there. And then, of course, the pass is good for two people at the American Sign Museum here. And then ages 12 and under, they enter the museum for free anytime. OK, so how do you reserve it? You have to use our reservation system, and I'll show you that in a minute. How many days of the pass is good? Now, one, two, three, four are good for the date on the pass. Now, for the museum center, they're good for seven days. Okay, and you have to return the pass at the end of the seven day time frame. Now for Great Parks, the pass is good for three days, but you must return the, uh, the pass on the date on the back of the pass. Okay, so you'll actually go to, you'll go there. Now these right here, like at the Sculpture Garden and Harriet Beecher Stowe House, they can, you can print them at home and even save them on a mobile device. And you don't have to return them, okay? Any one that you have to, you can print or save on a mobile device, you don't have to return. Now with the Museum Center, you pick the pass up at the branch you reserve it online. And I'll show you that in just a second. We really laid it out pretty nicely. And then it can, you have to return it but you can then return it at any location. You don't have to return it to the branch that you reserved it. Same thing with the Great Parks. You have to pick it up at the branch that you reserved it from, but you can return it to any of the locations. All right? And it, you, you'll see in just a second why that makes sense. And then you have uh, the library card. You have to have a library card. It has to be fines under $50. So let's go to the reservation center. We're gonna go right here, the reservation system, should I say. Click there. And once again, it tells you a little bit, it's discovery pass, the types of passes, print at home, 
and they're valid for only the date uh, printed on the pass, okay? And they don't need to be returned. Pick up and return passes, these are ones that you have to return to the library, but you can return it to any of the libraries. Now, if you click here, you're going to be able to see, you can, um, you can decide exactly which, um, which, which museum or institution you want to visit. We're just going to say all passes. You can display from one day to 60 days here. I'm going to just pick three days. And you can say show all passes, show all libraries. Um, you can be very specific about which library you'd like to pick it up at. Um, and then, of course, um, you can pick the dates over here in the calendar as well. Now, I'm going to pick, I don't know why it went to th Wednesday. Let's go to Thursday here. So here it is. We've made it very easy. Here's the American Sign Museum print at home. So you know that is one that you can print or save on a mobile device and you don't have to return it. Now, here are the Museum Center ones for today. So if you um, are closest to Avondale Branch, you could pick up that Museum Pass for the Museum Center at Avondale. And when you're finished, you can go to any of our locations and drop it off. And since the West End Branch is right there by the Museum Center, or um, it's also close to the downtown library. You could use the drive-through at downtown. Just drive up, give the pass back after you've gone to the museum center. Same thing down here when it comes to great parks. Here you have all of the different locations. So if you are going to a great park that's near, if you live near Deer Park, and I know they're anticipating, um, I think we're all anticipating the new um, the brand new and expanded um, library at Deer Park, but the old location is still there. So you can check that out. You can get the uh, permit, the vehicle permit at uh, for great parks of Hamilton County at Deer Park. And then you could drop off that permit at any library. Of course, you could take it back to Deer Park, but you don't have to. You have to pick it up there at where you reserve, but you can return it to any of our locations. If I keep scrolling down, and you can see there's all the vehicle permits, and here's the Herod Beecher Stowe House, and I can print that from home, and then the uh, Pyramid Hill Sculpture Park. Now I'm going to click on the Pyramid Sculpture Park, click right here. Now, each pass... Uh, you reserve this pass for the day you visit the museum. You must display the printed pass and the pass confirmation on your phone when you arrived. Um, so I'm going to pick the Harriet Beecher Stowe Pass. Tells you a little bit more information. And then I'm just going to go over here to reserve, request a pass. Click there. I'd have to put in my library card number and my PIN. And I'd hit submit. And then you would get a you would get this so here's the pyramid park uh, sculpture park and museum here's the um, printed home and i took out some personal information that's on there and then i hit continue and i can even receive some text messages so i can have the message on my device all right and that's all you have to do now if we were going to go to um, the museum center or the great parks, I would actually have to click request pass, still put in my library card number, my PIN, and then the next page would tell you how and where to go. It will tell you exactly where to go to get that pass. All right. So I'll provide a link for all of that in um, the links below so you can um, click on those. Um, let's look really quickly. Once again, you go to cincinnatilibrary.org, go under services, go right down here under families and discovery pass, and there you are. And each one of these, you can go directly to their website to look at um, what the museum has to offer, especially then. And you can reserve it up to 60 days out. 
Um, and I just think that makes it really cool that you have that capability. So you're not only uh, Discover Summer, but you also can use your Discovery Pass through the library with your library card. All right, let's look real quick at some events that are coming on. Uh, tomorrow we've got drop-ins, I Spy, Colorful Shapes at Miami Township, and Miami Township's also doing Brood Bingo. Let's click on that, Brood Bingo. Activity sheet to turn going on a cicada hunt in your backyard or neighborhood into a game. And the cicadas have been a little bit crazy in my neighborhood. There's an I spy over at Wyoming, and that's part of the Discovery Discover Summer program. And so these little programs here that have that part of Discover program, that would be on that Discover Summer page where you click on it. There's a ice cream party over at Norwood from 2 to 3. That's always fun. Madisonville's having their summer kickoff. And if I scroll down here, let me go to more. Uh, there's Donate Days at Madeira Branch, and that's the Friends of the Public Library. That's from 9 to 12. There's a Madisonville Sewing Group. There's some more Discovery uh, Celebrations kickoff. There's a Summer uh, Blooms program that's happening uh, from noon to one. Summer Blooms of Cincinnati, some cicada celebrations. And Grown Folks Crafting. I love the title of that. Um, and that's over at West End. And of course, more and more programs that are happening. A lot of story times outside a lot of story walks, still some virtual story times, so it's really convenient for you, but check that out. So once again, go to the main site here, and you want to go to Discover Summer, so you can have all of those activities, and then go to Services, and you can get the Discovery Pass. All right, I'm going to click out, tell you a few more things, and we'll call it a day. All right, that was today's Lunch and Learn. Um, I hope that you um, get out there and really enjoy the summer. Um, but don't forget about the Discovery Pass. You can get to the Cincinnati Art Museum Special Exhibits, the Museum Center, Harriet Beecher Stowe House, the American Sign Museum, uh, Pyramid Hill, and of course, Great Parks. Uh, just a great time that you can have just by using your library card. And um, following the directions, we'll have a link for you so then you can get right to that page and reserve your, your time at one of those spots. Um, also, don't forget about the Discover Summer. That's a wonderful program that's throughout June and July. We'll have a lot of events, uh, such as the drop-in gaming at Miami Township, uh, outdoor story times. Um, there's an ice cream party that I mentioned at Norwood from 2 to 3 tomorrow on Friday. Uh, donate, donate days at Madeira from 9 until noon on Saturday. And then part of also part of the Discover Summer series is uh, Covedale at Cicada Celebration. So I'll put a link for that as well. So definitely sign your children up from preschool to teen. Um, for the summer, uh, Discover Summer program. So I will see you next week and have a wonderful weekend.